Hello guys, welcome to Power Cubital Guy. In today's session, we will see the usage of uh, some new functions like self, launch, and notify with their different properties. And we'll also see a new uh, feature of uh, dropdowns to allow empty selection. That's cool feature added um, sometime back by uh, Microsoft. So uh, let's dig in and see how this can be done. So guys, this is the uh, same surfing products app, which I uh, created earlier. So uh, I'll put a link in the description below to so that if you want to see this app uh, later on. Uh, yeah, so let's start with the uh, drop down. So if you see here in the drop down, it's uh, empty selection. So previously uh, it was defaulted to the uh, first value of the uh, table or uh, uh, or the default value you specify here. Now, as you see here, it's empty. And if I click on the run menu, you see all the options are displayed here in the drop down. Uh, with the default of empty selection. So uh, there is an option recently added. If you select the drop down and go here, you will see an option of allow empty selection. So if you click this, so by default it will be false. And if you turn it to true, you will uh, see the uh, empty selection. So if I, I, if I have written the false here, you see, uh, the first uh, option is selected by default, which is all. So let's revert it back to true. So as you guys see here, uh, I reverted it back to true, but it's still the value uh, selected here is all. If I run the app back again, now you cannot see that empty value. Why? Because uh, you have to select it again to revert it back to empty selection. And so that's a cool feature uh, added recently in the dropdowns. Uh, yeah, so now let's see uh, the launch new window option. So uh, I've created a button here and named it as launch new window. And if you see on select, I have added a link of my website, Power Cubicle Guy. And uh, this uh, curly braces is for the parameter so i don't want to pass any parameters as of now and launch target dot blank so dot blank uh, as of now means uh, a new window so later uh, i believe it will be renamed to new so blank uh, might not work later on so if you guys are implementing this so you might have to consider that this will be uh, change to new in the new releases. So anyways, as of now, uh, this is working and I can show you the demo. So uh, as you see, uh, this is the uh, format of the launch uh, function. So if I click here and click on launch new window, you see the website power cubicle guy is opened. So uh, guys, I request you to visit this website once and let me know your comments or if you have any questions, you can uh, click on the message icon and send me a message. I'll uh, revert back to you guys. Then uh, there is a another option of opening the uh, the same link in the app window. So not going to a new window, but uh, opening the uh, link in the same window. So I have uh, used the same function and have given the Google search option here with, with the parameters value of power cubicle guy and launch target dot self. So here it means it will open in the same window. It will not open a new window. So let me show you a demo for this as well. So if I click on launch self, you see the uh, Google search page uh, 
displays the search option as power cubicle guy and all the power cubicle guy stuff is uh, displayed on this page right so uh, my website the images of my website my Facebook page so all those are uh, being searched by Google here right so uh, these are the uh, two main uh, properties of launch also guys uh, we can use this uh, launch function to launch a uh, uh, outlook mailbox like we can say launch and then mail to provide the uh, email IDs the subject of the email CC and all those uh, subject bodies etc so uh, it is another uh, cool function uh, now let's see uh, what does the self uh, function is doing here so it's a new cool function added uh, to power apps self referencing the object itself referencing the control itself so for example uh, previously if you see in the app uh, I have named as button 1.514 like that so I can reference the same object by using self so I don't need to further specify as button 1 underscore 5 1 underscore 4 like that so this is a very cool feature for self referencing the object itself uh, so let me show you a demo on this so I've added a label here as you see position of XY so uh, if you go down here you will see the position as 623 and 381 on the right hand side in the properties now if I move this uh, label uh, a bit left hand side you will see the uh, position is changed to 507 and 132 but as you see I have written here in the text as self dot x and self dot y so the value of x and y I am referencing and uh, displaying in this text itself so it's self referencing basically so here if you see uh, these are the two values I am referencing in this text X and Y which is the position of this box right so this is another uh, cool feature uh, which is added uh, to self reference the object or control itself and uh, another example which I can show you in this one is uh, if I select this and go to uh, suppose hover fill so you see I have made the color fade as self dot fill right so whatever value is there in fill that will come here and then it will be minus 20% so hover fill will be minus 20% of the self dot fill right so let's see what's what's there in the fill it should be a blue color code right now suppose if I give a green right and let me run the app so if you see the hover once I hover my mouse over it the color is changing right see so hope you got the self referencing uh, function how to use it how it will help to uh, self-reference the object and it's like very much time saving indeed right now uh, let's see what's there in the notify function this is another cool function added by uh, Microsoft so let me show you a quick demo if I click on notify info you see products are in order by product by we can give some information tag there and give a time frame as well so that it will be displayed uh, accordingly notify success products are all sorted right you see the top banner right so it's like uh, the colors are also changing as per the uh, properties of the notify so info if you see it's like uh, grayish color notify success is in clean green color 
warning out of his stock and giving a warning kind of banner and this is a this is a error so i think the name is incorrect here so this is a error banner products are not in order right so uh, let's see how we can give this so let me correct the name here this is an error notification right so uh, once i click on this notify info button there is a function notify and we can give a text here this can be a dynamic text as well right so uh, according to the uh, according to their requirements you can change that dynamic text right and then this notification type is uh, information and this is the time frame or the time out so it's in milliseconds so i have given thousand milliseconds and if i remove this you will see there are four uh, properties for this error information success and warning right so all these four i have shown here in the uh, buttons below so we can uh, give the uh, required property in that notification type and hence it will display the correct value for the required uh, notification so guys uh, hope this uh, these new functions will help you in your power apps development and in your respective projects to be more productive and efficient in your work so guys uh, let me know in the comments below if this video helped you looking forward to see you guys in the future videos thank you so much and see ya